Uh, I'm going to use start out using my orbital sander with 100 grit along with this nice triangle orbiter or orbital or orbital. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Today we got a little refinishing project on our hands. Uh, we're going to take this table, sand it down, put a nice dark stain on it, and then put a nice finish coat on it. This is a table that's by our front door. We usually put our keys and sunglasses on it. Um, I was hoping I could take this apart, but these wooden plugs do not come out, so I'm a little bummed. So it's going to take a little bit of time to sand down, so I won't bore you with the, the whole process. Uh, we're going to start out using our orbital sander with 100 grit along with our triangle and to get in all these corners and then we'll work our way up to 220. So uh, let's get started. I'll kind of show you how I start out and then I'll show you the end. I'll, got, I'll let you guys know how long it takes. It's probably going to take a little bit of time. But uh, let's get started. Alright, so as you can see there's a, quite a few stains on here, watermarks. Uh, I got my 220 on my orbital sander and let's get started. <laughs> So you can see this is going to turn out pretty nice. Uh, it looks like everything cleaned out pretty good. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to do the rest, so I'll, I'll get going on that, and I'll, we'll come back in a little bit, and I'll show you uh, the progress. All right, so I wanted to go over a couple tips uh, for sanding. Um, if you always want to find out which direction the grain is going in your wood and sand with the grain, um, with the orbital sander, you kind of don't have to worry about that too much because this spins fast in a circle. So you don't have to worry about it too much, but if you don't have an orbital sander and if you want to use a block sander, you want to sand with the grain. If you go against the grain, it's going to make little lines in the wood, and when you stain and finish it, those will pop out pretty good. So you always want to go with the grain to prevent those scratches. So that's just a little tip. And another little tip, when, when sanding on the edge, if you have an orbital sander, is to try to keep your sander as flat as possible. If you don't feel too comfortable with it, the, the next best, best option is to go with a, a, a sanding block and just do it and keep that sanding block nice and flat so that way you don't round over the edges. So that's just a couple of little pointers for um, sanding uh, wood. Alright, so I wanted to give you guys a little progress update. I've done as much as I can with my big orbital sander. You can see there's a couple areas where I need to hit with my little triangle sander. But uh, this took about 15-20 minutes now. It's turning out pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with the progress. So let me hit these uh, little corners with my little mini triangle sander and um, we'll come back. Alright, so I've done the best I can with the orbital sander and the little mouse sander and sometimes it's best just to grab a piece of sandpaper and use it uh, and use your hands. That way you can kind of form it and to get in these little cracks here, that's the best, uh, sometimes that's just the best solution. So um, let me finish this up, I just got a little cor couple corners to get and then uh, we'll throw some stain on this bad boy. Alright so I got it all sanded, I um, sanded it down to with a 220, uh, as best I could it took probably a uh, good 45 minutes to get this whole thing sanded down. But next uh, we're going to throw some stain on this guy. Uh, so I got a nice dark um, stain, a nice black, not black, but nice dark ebony. It's almost black. So uh, I'm going to throw some stain on here and uh, I'll bring you guys back when it's all done. Alright, so here's a little tip for you guys. As you can see here in these corners, I did not get the original finish off good enough and my dark stain did not take to the wood very well. And also you can see my um, scratches when I went sanding across the grain uh, kind of show up a little bit too. So that's just a little tip for you guys when you're trying to take the original finish off of something, make sure you get it all or your 
stain does not take to the wood very well. So that's just a little tip for you guys. All right, so you can see I did a little bit of a better job, but it is kind of tough to get in there and get that finish off, even with your hand without going uh, across the grain. So there are some couple scratches in there. I'll see how it looks with the finish. Um, as you can see, I got it all stained up. Um, that corner looks uh, really bad right there, so I'm gonna try to fix that real quick. Uh, but I'm going to fix a couple of the spots. Uh, there it is all stained up. I'm going to let it dry outside a little bit more. And then uh, I'll be back and we'll put a finish on it. Alright, now that we got it all stained up, it's time to put a finish on it. Um, I'm just going to use this wipe-on poly that I had. It's a polyurethane. Uh, it helps protect it. And uh, it's something I had laying around already. So I might as well use it. Uh, and I got a nice uh, lint-free cloth. So all you pretty much do is just pour it on here. And just wipe it in. Probably take a couple coats. Um, I'll let you guys know how many coats I um, I use. But um, I will put put this uh, finish on, and uh, I'll show you the finished product. All right. Well, there she is, all finished up. Uh, has a nice heavy coat of polyurethane on it. Just one coat so far. Um, I think you guys get the idea of what she would look like when all finished up. I'll probably put a nice coat again on the top there which would get the most use uh, with the keys and the sunglasses thrown on it. You probably want to get a, get a nice good uh, coat on that. But there she is all finished up. Alright guys, how's she look? Completely different, huh? So I just wanted to give you an example. They don't need to throw something away or go out and buy a new piece of furniture that you could sand it down paint it or stain it and it could give you a completely different look. I'm not a big fan of painting wood. I like the wood look but you can paint it and I know they do have colored stains out there now but just wanted to give you an example of repurposing something for your house. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.